nursing Grand Junction is in jail after allegedly sexually assaulting unconscious patients. The case has sparked a class action lawsuit that alleges there could be thousands of victims. CBS4 investigator Karen Warford sat down with two victims who have been identified. They told you they have a good reason for coming forward. Absolutely, Jim, and they are just at the very beginning of mm -hmm. this process of healing. So I asked why share this story now. Both of the women said that if there are other victims out there, they want them to know they have support. How did this happen? Why? Why was it me? That's just the start of the questions two women have following the arrest of a nurse at St. Mary's Hospital in Grand Junction. Something wasn't right. I told my mother he wasn't a good man. Both ended up in the ICU in the care of 61-year-old Christopher Lambros. He was arrested last month after a co-worker caught him taking a selfie with one of those women fully exposed and unconscious. I have a lot of fear, you know, and it's... Um, my emotion, I mean, I'll, I'll be in bed and just start bawling my eyes out just because I start thinking about stuff, you know, what he could have done. While the criminal investigation into Lambros is far from over, a class action lawsuit against the hospital is moving forward. To hold defendants, SEL Health, St. Mary's and Intermountain accountable for putting this monster in our clients' rooms. The complaint points to evidence already collected, four terabytes of data which amounts to 700,000 photos or nearly 65,000 hours of cell phone videos. We may never know the full scope of what this guy did uh, to patients at St. Mary's Hospital. We just may never know. One of the videos described in that complaint, Lambros is allegedly heard saying, don't ever get rid of these videos and you need to keep them forever. This is your Dexter collection referring to the TV series about a serial killer. Well, what happened has changed both of the lives of these women forever. I have depression, I have anxiety, I'm on meds for both, I'm in therapy. They now have each other for support and want others to know they're not alone. Yeah, I have another voice and hopefully we get more voices out there, you know, so there'll be a whole bunch of us, you know, to stand up and do this. A statement from the healthcare system that runs the hospital says in part safety of their patients is their highest priority and that they take this matter seriously and that they're working with police. Both they um, both are say they are reaching out to potential victims directly. They've also set up a call center to help former patients with any questions. All right, Karen, thank you.